The ordering banks are now open for the 2023 F-150, and this truck comes available in eight different trim levels, 22 different packages, and countless options. And so if the ordering process of the new F-150 scares you, this video is going to help you a lot. What's up, guys? My name is Mitchell Watts with Town & Country TV, and in this video, we're going to give you all the information that you need to know before ordering your new 2023 Ford F-150. But first, let's talk about the color choices. The colors that are available are going to depend on the package that you select and also the trim level and it may be easier to say it this way the new colors for the 2023 model are just area 51 avalanche gray uh, azure gray hot pepper red and 423 they deleted two different paint colors smoke quartz metallic and space white before we jump into the trim levels themselves and what features come with them, please consider hitting that like button. It took a long time to prepare for this video and that's really all we're asking for in return. It's just a simple hit of that button. It doesn't cost you anything, so go ahead and smash that like button. All right, so let's talk about the XL package or trim level, if you will. The XL package is, uh, I mean, quote unquote, it's the work truck of the trim level. It really is available in three different cab configurations, most of the F-150s are available. There's some limitations on the upper end, but you have the regular cab, which is the two full doors, um, the super cab, which is the two full doors and the two smaller suicide doors that open backwards. And then you have the super crew, which is the four full size doors. That's the number one seller. As standard equipment, the XL trim level comes with a 3.3 liter V6, which is naturally aspirated, meaning no turbos, no EcoBoost, that kind of thing. You ha do have the ability to go with a two or a four wheel drive and that's pretty much the same across all of the trim levels so I'm not going to cover that again but uh, if you do select that four-wheel drive you get Ford's electronic shift on the fly and the best news about that is it comes with neutral ta trailer towing capability I don't know why I can't talk today but uh, anyways that that is really available standard equipment on all four-wheel drive models the 4x4 and all of the F-150s come standard with the 10-speed automatic transmission uh, and you also get something that's really cool I like it. it's called auto hold it's a really neat feature that when you come to a complete stop the F-150 will automatically hold your position until you lightly touch the gas pedal. Now this is really good in stop and go traffic, uh, as you know, as well as like if you're in the drive-through line at Chick-fil-A or whatever your restaurant is. The standard equipment on the F-150 comes with a 23 gallon or 26 gallon fuel tank, depending on which cab configuration you select. Obviously the 26 gallon tank is for the Super Crew model, but don't worry, you do have the ability to upgrade the size of the fuel tank with a standalone option in most situations. That's a 36 gallon tank as the option. But as far as the exterior is concerned, the XL model comes with standard with things that really just kind of make it work, look like a work truck, because it is a work truck. Black bumper covers, fascias, that kind of stuff for the front and the rear. You also have black door handles and tailgate handles, but I am glad that they at least gave us one particular option as standard. That is going to be the power tailgate lock. So that way, if you lock the cab of the vehicle, the tailgate also locks. So if you have like a bed cover on the top, guess what? You can keep people from stealing your stuff or keep them from stealing the tailgate itself. So pretty cool stuff there. 17 inch wheels do come standard and the tires will depend on whether you get the two or the four wheel drive option. When we move on into the interior of the XL F-150, the instrument cluster is pretty typical. It gets wild as we go up those trim levels, but, um, uh, but standard equipment, you have like normal gauges and then you have like a four inch productivity screen in the middle of those two gauges. Uh, but for the center stack, this is pretty cool. You have sync for estate standard equipment. That means you get an eight inch touchscreen and you even have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and it's wireless. I love the fact that they've done that. So even if it's a work truck, you still have the ability to have navigation on ways or whatever the situation is. Being that it is a work truck trim level, it does not surprise me that black vinyl flooring comes standard. That's pretty typical, but don't worry. You do have the ability to add carpet as an option if that's something that you're interested in. There are a slew of safety items that come standard on this truck. Airbags everywhere, driver front airbag, passenger front airbag, seat mounted airbag for the driver and the passenger. There's even a safety canopy side curtain airbag for the first and the second row. Uh, 
assuming you don't have a regular cab. <laughs> but anyways, but there's there's way more to safety than just airbags. And that is why Ford gives you curve control as a standard feature. Uh, curve control, by the way, is when you're coming around a curve, uh, you know, the sensors in the vehicle can tell if you're going through that curve too fast. And if the truck senses danger, it'll actually slow down to prevent you from running off the road. I've actually used that and tested that at a Ford event before. It's pretty cool how that works. But one of the most underrated features on the F-150 comes standard with the Ford Copilot 360 set of technologies. Now, this is a terrible name, but it's a good feature. It's a great feature, in fact. First up are the headlamps. You have automatic on and off, but you also have automatic high beams. The F-150 can even see people on the road at night. And when it's safe, the truck will automatically turn on the high beams and turn them off, depending on who's in front of you. How cool is that? Now the Ford Copilot 360 also comes with lane keeping system, post-collision braking, pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking, and this truck can even detect pedestrians. The standard backup camera even comes with dynamic hitch assist that makes backing up that truck to your trailer a breeze. You don't have to worry about missing the trailer. But lastly, it comes with backup sensors. Now, the last thing I want to talk about on the standard equipment for the XL is going to be Ford Pass Connect. This is a 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot. You can connect up to 10 devices at the same time. And I don't really know how much I would use that particular thing because I've got it on my phone, uh, but I really like what else comes with that as standard equipment. You get wireless remote vehicle functions. You can schedule specific Pacific. <laughs> you can schedule specific times of the day to remotely start the vehicle all from the comfort of your smartphone. And since it's all data, you can actually control your vehicle from across the country as long as you have internet. But you can lock and unlock the vehicle from the smartphone. You can even check the vehicle status and the location of the vehicle if you're worried about little Johnny. Where's little Johnny? You can see little Johnny right there on your Ford Pass. I think that is so cool. But now that we have the standard equipment covered on the XL trim of the F-150, I want to talk about the equipment groups that you can select. In the past, the XL model was available in a 100A equipment group and a 101A equipment group. But for 2023, Ford killed off that very first 100A equipment group. That means all of the F-150s now come standard with power windows, power door locks, and cruise control. That might not sound like a lot, but I mean, we're talking work truck here. Now, you do have the choice between a 101 and a 102A equipment group for 2023, but if you upgrade to that 102, you get the Ford Copilot 360 2.0 package. A privacy rear window defroster sync 4 system with the enhanced voice recognition. I'm going to take a step back and talk about the difference between the standard Ford Copilot 360 and the Ford Copilot 360 2.0. The naming of these technologies gets very confusing, but the biggest difference between the normal Copilot and the Copilot 2.0 is that 2.0 comes with blind spot information system, cross traffic alert, and reverse brake assist. If you need help on what those technologies are, just subscribe to our channel because we talk about this stuff all the time. The available packages, shifting gears for a second, on the XL F-150 are going to vary depending on what other options you select, but anyways, let Let's just talk about the all of the package options. You have the XL Chrome Appearance Package, STX Appearance Package, STX Black Appearance Package, and then the brand new Rattler Package. Now, go back and pause the screen to see which one of those packages consists of, but I do want to stop and talk about the Rattler Package for just a second because it's brand new for 2023. Ford has designed this to be a great off-road vehicle while still being on a budget. It comes with upgraded all-terrain tires, 18-inch dark-painted wheels, and dual exhaust system with black tip. Now, for the sake of time, I'm not going to go over every single option that is included in that Rattler package, but I did want to point out a few. There's upgraded axle options, you have a hill descent control, skid plates for the fuel tank transfer case, and also the front differential, and this thing even has a rock crawl mode. Roll tad. <laughs> But anyways, let's talk about the freestanding options on the XL trim level. On the F-150 XL, there are way too many to cover. And they really don't require much of an explanation, so I'm just going to list them on the screen for you. But what I do want to talk about are the DIOs, or the dealer installed options. I want to talk about Ford accessories as well. Knowing that there are still supply chain issues out there, I would highly recommend leaving every DIO and accessory off of your order. By the way, this is for every version 
version of the, the F-150, not just the XL trim level. Each of these particular DIOs and accessories are available at your dealer, and most of these are just add-on options that, that just add complexity to the build. So if you want your order quicker, I would highly recommend, in fact, I would stress to you, leave off every one of those options off of your window sticker and just add it at your dealership. As we jump into the XLT series, I want to remind you that we are a dealership located in Alabama. And if you'd like more information about placing an order with our dealership, call the number on the screen. But please keep in mind, I cannot stress this enough, this video is not a sales pitch. I can't stand those videos and I know you can't either. We're not trying to sell you anything. We just want to help by providing some information. And that way, if you want to make an informed decision, you can. If you decide you want to work with us, we would be honored. But if not, that's cool too. Just don't forget to hit that like button instead. Now the XLT F-150 comes with a lot of standard equipment that we've already mentioned in the XL model. So if you haven't watched that, if you're skipping around throughout the video, which by the way, we'll have the time cards down below, make sure you go back and watch that. The XLT F-150 comes with all the standard equipment that we've already mentioned in the XL model, plus what I'm about to talk to you about. For the outside or the exterior, you have an upgraded bumper in the front and the rear. You have chrome bumpers and they look much better than the black plastic you'll find on the XL. You also get a body color front fascia in the front and you also have an upgraded grill. The XLT picks up carpet floorboards as standard equipment whereas the XL just had the vinyl flooring and the XLT also comes with a 40 20 40 split bench front seat and a manual lumbar support for the driver and the front passenger. The XLT has three different equipment groups 300, 301 and 302. The 300A equipment group is standard. So it's going to come with things that I just mentioned. Uh, but you, when you step up to that 301, you actually get an eight-way power driver seat. You pick up the keyless entry keypad on the driver's side of the A pillar, or the B, I think it's the B pillar. <laughs> Can you tell it's been a long day? Uh, anyways, you get an 8-inch productivity screen in the instrument cluster, and you also get an auto-dimming rear-view mirror, uh, plus dual-zone air conditioner, and also some storage that's underneath the rear seat, depending on how you option the vehicle, as long as you don't go with uh, uh, the Pro Power on board. But you also get a Class 4 trailer hitch system that comes with Ford's Smart Trailer Tow Connector. It's a 7-4 pin connector system, and obviously the Class 4 hitch comes with that as well. But the last thing that you get in the 301A equipment group that you don't get in all the other ones are the enhanced voice recognition inside of that infotainment system. Stepping all the way up to that 302A equipment group is Ford's latest 12-inch touchscreen. You get the 10-way power driver seat and heated front seats. And one of my favorite features is the intelligent access with push-button start. This setup even has detection for when you approach the vehicle. But the 302A equipment group does not stop there. You get an onboard 400-watt outlet, a remote start system, and a remote tailgate release, and even LED reflector headlights. Lamps. There are four packages included in the XLT F-150. You've got the XLT Black Appearance Package, you have the XLT Sport Appearance Package, the XLT Chrome Appearance Package, and the Heritage Edition. You also happen to have a few other things like the 360 degree camera package, you get the Bed Utility Package, and the Ford Copilot 360 Assist 2.0. Assist. Did you hear me? I said assist. Not, not the 360, not the 360 2.0, but the 360 Assist 2.0. Anyways, I know what you're, <laughs> I know what you're thinking. So wait, there's a Ford Copilot 360 package. There's a Ford Copilot 360 2.0 package. Now that there's a Ford, Ford Copilot 360 Assist 2.0 package, let's see if I can help decipher each one of these. The base version of Ford Copilot 360 gives us the automatic on and off headlamps, auto high beams, lane keeping post-collision braking, pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking, and also a backup camera. And, and finally, also, you, you get some backup sensors. The Copilot 2.0 gave us all of that, plus blind spot information system, cross-traffic alert, and reverse brake assist. Going another step up to what I'm just talking about is the Assist 2.0. That gives you intelligent adaptive cruise control where it can you know, keep a safe distance between you and the vehicle in front of you. It even has stop and go, meaning that the vehicle will do that all the way to a dead stop and then it'll resume itself. You get lane centering, speed sign recognition where the vehicle can adjust the speed of the vehicle based on the speed, sign, speed limit sign that it just read. You get evasive steering assist and intersection assist. That's a cool feature because the car can tell if you're coming through an inter intersection and it thinks you're about to get T-boned, it'll help you stop and hopefully avoid 
a T-bone situation in an intersection. And you also get the connected built-in navigation system with three years of free services. Now you see why I think the Copilot technologies are awesome, but it is confusing as all get out. But just like the XL trim level, there are a ton of free standing options. Uh, once again, self-explanatory, so I'm just gonna leave those on the screen, but there are two options I really wanna talk about. The twin panel moonroof is now optional on the 302A equipment group, and as well as the B&O audio system with the eight speakers. Those two fantastic options are not available anywhere on the XL trim level. Now let's talk about the standard equipment on the F-150 Lariat. There, that's much better. <laughs> didn't, re didn't realize our YouTube plaque had fallen down. By the way, that's a timely reminder. Subscribe to the channel. But anyways, let's get back to the standard equipment list that is on the F-150 Lariat. It is a good bit longer than every other trim level so far. What is really interesting is the transfer case that you get in the F-150 Lariat. The Lariat is where you get that two-speed automatic transfer case. This gives the F-150 the ability to have a normal two-high mode, a four-high mode, but you also have a four-low. But when you step up to that new transfer case I'm talking about, you get a 4A mode for, for automatic. This is an all-wheel drive mode that is perfect for slippery on-road weather conditions. And don't worry, this new transfer case still has neutral towing capabilities. Now, the exterior of the F-150 has zone lighting, which allows you to illuminate the area around the F-150. This is absolutely perfect for like campsites or just working around your vehicle at night. It illuminates everything. Now, the plushness of the Lariat, that's really a good bit higher than what you'll find on the XLT. You've got things standard like the dual zone air conditioner system that comes standard. Uh, you also have the power adjustable pedals and you've got memory settings for just about everything. The seats, the pedals, the steering wheel, all that kind of stuff. This is also the trim level where you pick up the heated and ventilated seats. The ventilated comes standard as for the first time in the F-150 trim level at this point. As you would expect, the F-150 Lariat comes with an advanced security parking system that has motion sensors to even can detect if someone's sticking their hand inside of an open window. I think that's really cool. But B&O Audio System stands for Bang & Olufsen Premium Audio System with eight speakers. That is now standard on the F-150 Lariat as well as intelligent access with push button start. Now, the available equipment groups for the Lariat have changed for the 2023 model. Ford has gotten rid of the 500A equipment group completely. It's not even an option anymore. Now, your only choice is a 501A and a 502A. And since the 501A is standard, you already know what is included in that. But if you step up to that 502, you get things like the 20-inch chrome-like PVD wheels. It's looks like chrome but it's not it's lighter than chrome uh anyways you you've got the ford copilot 360 assist 2.0 second row heated seats and a power steering wheel up down yeah i mean <laughs> It, the, the steering wheel moves up, it moves down, forward, back, and all with the push of a button. So uh, you, uh, you also get rain sensing windshield wipers. You get a wireless charging pad for your phone, LED projector headlamps, which is actually a, a better version of the headlamps that feature dynamic bending where the light actually seems to bend around the corners as you turn. It's really cool. It's wild if you've never seen it in person. The available packages on the Lariat trim level are the Lariat Black Appearance Package, the Lariat Sport appearance package, the bed utility package, FX4 off-road package, and lastly, the Ford Copilot 360 Active 2.0. Yes, it's another version of the Ford Copilot 360. It gives you the Blue Cruise, which is Ford's self-driving technology. I mean, I guess really it, you can't legally call it self-driving. It's technically a hands and feet free driving on certain sections of divided road. Blue Cruise is fantastic if you've not had a chance to try it yourself. Um, the other thing that Active gets you is the Active Park 2.0. But due to the microchip shortage, Ford has actually axed this particular option from the package. Hopefully it'll come back soon, but it's really not a feature that I'd use it all that much. The Blue Cruise is where it's at though. There are a lot of available freestanding options on the Lariat. A couple of notable mentions would be number one, the power deployable running boards. This is the very first time you can get power deployable running boards as an option from the factory 
on an F-150. It's available on higher trim levels, but this is where it starts. Keep in mind though, that there are aftermarket versions of the power deployable running boards. Amp Research power deployable running boards is one that comes to mind right, right away. Uh, but anyways, uh, the other option, number two, is going to be CCD, and that stands for Continuously Controlled Dampening. You want to avoid this option if you plan on lifting or leveling your F-150. Thirdly, this is the big boy, the B&O Unleashed. <laughs> This is where you have 18 speakers, including the subwoofer, a massive stereo system. The King Ranch trim level is designed to be a mixture of luxury and tough appearances. This is the very first trim level where the F-150 has a 5.0 liter V8 engine coming standard. You get the same standard equipment as the Lariat, plus you get 20 inch machined aluminum wheels that is painted with a light caribou paint, and it really has a neat King Ranch ornament on the actual wheel. This truck is for that person who is looking for the luxury, but really kind of wants to blend in a little bit better than maybe a platinum would. The equipment groups you can choose from are the 600A equipment group and the 601A equipment group. When you step up to the 601, you actually pick up that bed utility package we've mentioned a couple times, power deployable running boards, the B&O Unleashed system, <laughs> and then also the multi-contour seats, which by the way, the multi-contour seats are not available for 2023. Um, Ford has not said this, but I am assuming that there's like a supplier issue with the air bladders or maybe microchips, uh, but the Expedition, the F-150, even the Super Duty, they all offer those seats, but for 2023, you can't order them in any of those vehicle lines. The King Ranch does have just a few packages to choose from. You have a King Ranch Chrome package and the King Ranch Monochromatic package. The Platinum trim level, this is going to be not the epitome, like the, the top of the luxury, but it's probably the one that everybody's going to want if you're wanting luxury. The Platinum trim, it's really kind of similar to the King Ranch. Uh, it's got a lot of the same creature comforts, and they're really both near the top of that food chain when it comes to the plushness. As the standard equipment, the Platinum also comes with a 5.0 liter V8. It also has power deployable running boards as standard equipment. If you remember, they're available on the King Ranch, but they weren't standard. Platinum comes standard. Um, and that's the first time it comes standard in any of the trim levels. But really, most people order the Platinum to get the satin chrome finish tailgate applique. That's a big word and fancy for a guy from Alabama. <laughs> Anyways, if I were looking for a high-end truck, this would probably be the trim level that I would choose, just being very transparent. But there is one caveat to that, and one this caveat is large enough that I would not get the Platinum. Uh, one, it's harder to get built significantly, but the Platinum comes standard with the multi-contour seats. You know the seats that they massage your butt and your back? But just like the King Ranch, the multi-contour seats are not available for 23. And so once again, I'm over here assuming that there's issues with the company that supplies those seats to Ford because those seats are not available in anything that Ford makes. But the Ford Copilot Assist 2.0 is standard equipment on the Platinum. The equipment groups you can select from on the Platinum are the 700A and 701A equipment group. Since the 700A equipment is standard equipment on the Platinum, let's talk about what you get when you step up to the 701. You get the B and O unleashed audio system. Once again, 18 speakers, including the subwoofer. You get a bed utility package and the 360 degree camera package. You also get pro trailer backup assist. You also pick up the Ford Copilot 360 Active 2.0, which as you probably hopefully know by now, that comes with that blue cruise, which you can do the hands and feet free driving on certain sections of divided road. The freestanding packages are pretty similar to the other trim levels that we've already talked about. Things like the bed utility package, the FX4 package, the trailer tow package, and a few other carryovers. But uh, uh, the packages that I'm really excited about is the Platinum Black Appearance Package. This includes a lot of small touches that they really add a lot to the overall look of the Platinum, especially if a blacked out vehicle is your thing. The easiest trim level for me to cover in this video is going to be the Limited trim level. The Limited comes standard with a 3.5 power boost engine. This is a full hybrid system to increase the horsepower torque and the functionality of the vehicle. You get things like the Pro Power on board with 7.2 kilowatts worth of power at the touch of your hand. 
The Limited comes standard with every option Ford has to offer. The only options you can choose for on a Limited are the color of the exterior and whether or not you want an engine block heater and the front license plate bracket. So now let's get into a trim level that has not been around for all that long. The Trimmer Series is designed to bridge the gap between the FX4 off-road package and the all-out off-roader known as the F-150 Raptor. <laughs> New for 2023, the trimmer now comes standard with a 5.0 liter V8. That's so, I'm so excited about that because in the past it was only available in the EcoBoost. But anyway, now you have auto hold as standard. You have a ton of off-road features like the, the beefed up 9.7 inch gear set. You got a 3.73 locking rear differential and a lot of different kinds of drive modes, including rock crawl. I think that's kind of cool. Uh, I got that on my Bronco, and I think it's cool to have that on an F-150 as well. Now, the trimmer has upgraded shocks, upgraded front coil springs, rear leaf springs, control arms, steering knuckles, and so much more. Ford has made the exterior of the trimmer also very unique. Things like a unique hood, orange accents, and even orange interior stitching, just to name a few. Now, the trimmer is available in two different equipment groups. You've got the 401A equipment group is the standard equipment group. Uh, this comes with cloth seating, and it's really designed to be a lot easier on your pocketbook. But when you step up to that 402A, you get the big boy 12-inch productivity screen instead of that normal instrument cluster. You get the advanced uh, security pack where you know the, the sensors in the vehicle. You get rain sensing windshield wipers, upgraded headlamps, 360 camera package, and so much more. But you also get the beefed up high lock transfer case. This allows for a two speed automatic all wheel drive with a mechanical locking four wheel drive system. This transfer case was heavily inspired off of the F-150 Raptor. The trimmer has some freestanding packages we've already mentioned uh, like a hundred times already in this video. So I'm not gonna, there's no need to repeat them again. Is there, please, please, please no. This, this video is long enough as it is. But anyways, stepping up to the Raptor, there are so many things different with a Raptor compared to a normal F-150. This trim level should probably get its very own video, but that would just make way too much sense. So let's just go ahead and stick it in this video. But the Raptor is based on a high output version of the 3.5 EcoBoost. This truck is wider and bigger than any other F-150, and it features a beefed up frame that can take the abuse of the Baja 1000. Standard, you're gonna find a 410 gear ratio in the front and the back. You got a five link rear suspension system with a pan hard rod. I mean, you, this is really a long travel suspension system. And in the front, you've got a unique upper and lower control arm and unique tie rods. I guess it's pretty much easier to say that the Raptor is the pinnacle of off road ability, but without sacrificing any luxury. Now, for 2023, Ford has reduced the equipment groups available on the Raptor. Now you only have access to an 801A and 802A equipment group. The 801 comes standard with pretty much everything but a moonroof, tailgate package, uh, the blue interior package, and the Raptor 37 performance package. There's a few other small things, but I, I just really don't want to get lost in the weeds, especially this long into the video. But when you step up to the 802A equipment group, that's when you're ordering the new Raptor R. Before I tell you what's included, in the Raptor R, I want to ask you, do not call us about this vehicle. We are completely sold out of the Raptor R. Save yourself and, and us some time. And just don't call us, please. <laughs> please. I, and I just can't believe I just said that because I feel like I'm being rude, but um, the number of phone calls we've gotten about the Raptor R are obscene. Let's just leave it at that. Anyways, the Raptor R has a bunch of exterior accents. You've got R badges everywhere, but really what you're paying for is the upgraded 5.2 liter V8, which is supercharged and it makes 700 horsepower and 640 pound-feet of torque. And if you want more information about this version of the Raptor, click up in the link up in the cards and uh, we just did a deep dive on that full vehicle. I, I should have it linked down below in the description as well. So if you want to watch that. Uh, and, and there you have it, guys. That is our very deep detailed look at the trim level package and all the options on the new 2023 F-150. And if you got any value in this video at all, I'd like to ask you to do two things. Number one, smash that like button. <laughs> Number two, I want you to give us a call to order your new F-150 today. So the guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel with the bell notification turned on so you don't miss a single video. Peace. Peace.